and demonstrations and stuff so my wheels are turning like next year we could have a demonstration or we could have a class yeah, right. Right. nobody's right. gonna do it yeah. a good thing it's so great to see i mean did you have any idea that what you two did would become this huge thing that you'd have all these ladies around the table with you do no you? no a local knitting group is changing lives of breast cancer patients. A lot of them have to wait till treatment is done. This is a great temporary solution. What they're making that's helping women cope with this terrible disease. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so it is the perfect time for a local charity to spread the word about their unique efforts to help breast cancer survivors. Sometimes the simplest ideas are the best. Mm -hmm. They're looking for more volunteers who know how to knit or crochet. Tita Patel is in Bellingham tonight with more. Knitted knockers are exactly what they sound like, handmade prosthetics for breast cancer survivors. Each week, volunteers come to this yarn store to make them, but they say they need more knitters to knock out more knockers. When I'm knitting, you know, people always ask, what are you making? And this might look like a typical knitting group until you see what it is these ladies are knitting. <laughs> yes, kind of fun there. These handmade prosthetics are going to breast cancer survivors who need something to help them feel whole again. Barb DeMarist remembers the first knocker she got after undergoing a mastectomy in 2011. And I took that and I put it in my regular bra, it didn't need a special canisole. And it was light, it was soft, it was huggable, it was perfect. It was Barb's doctor who first told her about the alternative to expensive silicone prosthetics. There's just too many people who get it. Her friend Phyllis Kramer found a pattern online and knocked one out in a few hours. The knockers truly put a joy into Barb's life. It, it all of a sudden put a smile back on her face at a, at a really dark time in her life. But it wasn't enough for Barb to feel good about herself again. She wanted to help other survivors. So she started recruiting knitters, asking them to donate their yarn and their time. It wasn't hard to find volunteers who had been touched by cancer. When somebody's going through, through uh, breast cancer, you want to help them, but you don't know how. And this is a tangible way you can. <laughs> Over the last Last three years, Phyllis has knit close to 300 knockers, but she doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. 300 is nothing. It's nothing compared to the number of mastectomies that's done a year. That's why Barb wants to spread the word. Her dream is to have groups like this around the world. Well, I think that's what made the difference in my uh, my recovery was the uh, the uh, the vision, the enthusiasm, the excitement of looking out rather than all about me. Knitted knockers are provided free of charge at doctor's office and cancer clinics. Barb also takes orders online. She says she could probably find someone to manufacture them, but she prefers volunteers to make them. She says it's the love and personal touch that make these so special. In Bellingham, Tina Patel, Q13 Fox News. Also. A lot of them have to wait till treatment is done. This is a great temporary solution. A local knitting group changing the lives of breast cancer patients. What they're making that's helping women cope with this terrible disease. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so it's the perfect time for a local charity to spread the word about their unique efforts to help breast cancer survivors. Knitted Knockers out of Bellingham is looking for more volunteers who know how to knit or crochet. They create hand-knit prosthetics for breast cancer yes, survivors. It's, it's an alternative to expensive silicone prosthetics. Barb DeMorest is a breast cancer survivor and she started the local Knitted Knockers group to help other women looking for an alternative. And I took that and I put it in my regular bra. It didn't need a special canisole. And it was light, it was soft, it was huggable, it was perfect. Knitted knockers free of charge, and Barb provides them to doctor's offices and cancer clinics across the state and takes orders online. And even though she says she could find someone to manufacture them, she prefers to have volunteers make them because it's the love and the personal touch that really makes them special.